After nearly three decades in a prime bucket timer location, Raffles Town Club RTC will vacate its longtime home before its lease ends on October 17, 2026. The site will be redeveloped for residential housing. Said the Singapore Land Authority and Urban Redevelopment Authority on November 20. The Straits Times traces the rise and fall of the luxury haven that was once touted as one of the most exclusive clubs in Singapore. Europa Holdings, well known at the time for operating food and nightlife entertainment businesses, successfully bid for the Bukit Timer site for $100.1 million more than double the next closest offer of $46. 6 million. Europa chief Dennis Fu, dubbed the king of Singapore nightlife and the man behind iconic night spots like St. James Power Station and Shanghai Dolly, said the cost of the project was justified by the membership prices of existing clubs. We have done our calculations and have cause for celebration, he said at the time. Memberships will buy invitation only and cost $28,000. At the time, an ordinary membership. For instance, at the Singapore Recreation Club could be bought for about $49,500. Raffles Town Club membership was touted as exclusive and limited. It was later found to have accepted 19. 000 applications. Despite launching its membership priced at $28,000 and reaching highs of $40,000 over subsequent years, prices dipped almost immediately. Five months into its opening, people were selling their memberships for $15,000 to $16,000. Club managers said buyers no longer viewed club memberships as investments. Former Remisier Peter Lim sued key Europa shareholders Lawrence Ong and William Tang for failing to honour a verbal agreement to give him a 40% stake in the company. The agreement, which was made after Mr Lim, helped to finance the project by pumping in some $30 million in 1996, also included giving a 10.1% stake to Mr Fu. Mr Ong, the executive chairman of the club, and Mr Tan, said the agreement was different. In their telling, Mr Lim had agreed to invest $20 million in return for a 20% stake in the club and the company. This stake was later increased to 39. 21%. The case was resolved in April 2001 when Mr Ong and a third party, later revealed to be future owners Lin Jianwei and Margaret Tang, agreed to pay Mr. Lim and Mr. Fu $50 million for their stakes in the club and companies in an out-of-court settlement. According to sources, two of the seven RTC directors, Chinese investor Mr. Lin and Singaporean businesswoman Ms. Tao, bought the company's remaining shares from Mr. Ong. The co-owners had previously bought half of the shares from Mr. Lim and Mr. Fu in an out-of-court settlement. In July, the five remaining directors stepped down from their posts and assumed roles as members of a new advisory committee to the board. Mr. Ong and Mr. Tan were charged with failing to declare as income tens of millions of dollars in interest-free loans since 1996. They were ordered to pay penalties of $1.022 million and $77,846 respectively, the same amount as the tax they owed. In a separate hearing in November, Mr. Fu was ordered to pay taxes and penalties amounting to $1.03 million. Mr. Fu described his failure to declare his loans as an oversight. This was the start of what was called the Raffles 5000 lawsuit. Close to 5,000 of the club's founding members sued RTC for alleged breach of contract and said the club misrepresented its exclusivity. They wanted refunds for the $28,000 they paid to join. Members were surprised to learn that the club had some 19,000 members and said they were told the exclusive club would have no more than 7,000 members. 
Each of the 4,895 members paid $300 to fund the lawsuit. RTC denied the allegations. The suit was dismissed after the judge visited the club and deemed the facilities opulent and lavish. In line with the adjectives used in promotional material, the club members were ordered to pay for the club's legal costs. Members appealed and the court ruled in August 2003 that RTC had breached its obligations to deliver a premier club by taking in 19. 000 members. The High Court ordered RTC to pay $1,000 to each of the 4,895 members. After a second appeal, the court tripled the payout to $3,000 for each member. RTC later failed to meet a court deadline to pay up. And an alternative payment scheme comprising cash and meal vouchers amounting to $3,000 was offered to each of the 19,000 members. Mr. Tang claimed he was told by the three men the response to the membership launch in 1996 was not good and the project might not be viable. It led him to sell his stake in Europa and the club to Mr. Ong at an amount far less than the shares were worth. Mr. Tan and his wife, Ms. Turian Ganthavi, sought $140 million in damages. Alleging that Mr. Ong, Mr. Tan and Mr. Fu, together with Mr. Lim, conspired to defraud them. The four men denied the allegations. The suit was dropped eight days after hearings started in April 2003 following talks between parties. Terms were not disclosed. RTC claimed that its former directors, together with de facto director Peter Lim, had breached the fiduciary duty of loyalty to the club among other allegations. All four men denied allegations and filed five countersuits. RTC claimed that the former directors accepted 19,000 members with the aim of siphoning membership funds out of the club. It also claimed a misapplication of the funds by the defendants in 1997. The $130 million claim includes an indemnity of $53 million, the amount RTC was liable to pay its members after the Raffles 5000 lawsuit, and $33 million for funds which were allegedly misapplied. In May 2010, the court dismissed the case after ruling that the former directors did not breach their duties and had acted in the best interests of the club when they were in charge. This decision was upheld in October 2012 after an appeal by RTC. The court also found that RTC owners, Mr. Lin and Ms. Tang had acted unconscionably and in bad faith and made use of the club to take legal action. As a result, they had to pay the legal costs of Mr. Ong, Mr. Tang and Mr. Lim. Billionaire Mr. Lim accused owners, Mr. Lin and Ms. Tang of libel, over a statement which implied he was party to the culpable mismanagement of RTC prior to April 2001. It was also implied that Mr. Lim and other founding shareholders left their owners with no money to pay the $45 million in damages awarded to members after the Raffles 5000 lawsuit. The court eventually awarded Mr. Lim $210,000 in damages after finding that Mr. Lin and Ms. Tang acted with malice and deliberately made half-true statements. The owners were also ordered to pay $250.000 in legal costs to Mr. Lim in October 2011. Former Europa director Mr. Fu alleged that Mr. Ong and Mr. Tang had conspired to hide from him their plan to buy his stake and then resell it to RTC's new owners Mr. Lin and Ms. Tang. Mr. Fu said in court that he suffered a loss from the sale of his shares in three companies, RTC, Europa and ABR Holdings, to Mr. Ong for $11 million. He claimed that he would not have sold his shares if he knew they were going to be resold and would have gained $13. 2 million in dividends 
if he remain an RTC shareholder. Mr. Fu's claims were eventually dismissed and a judge referred to the case as a complete non-starter built on erroneous factual premises. The Singapore Land Authority and Urban Redevelopment Authority said the site occupied by the club will be used for housing after the club's lease expires on October 17, 2026. RTC will be required to return the land to the state before its expiration date. It is unclear if the club is planning to relocate. The club is no longer selling memberships, but interested buyers can still find them on the open market. As of November 22, checks by STE showed that memberships were being sold for between $200 and $15. 000 on e-commerce platforms such as Carousel.